Justice Clarence Thomas, he has asked a question during oral arguments in a case. That doesn't sound funny. The man has not asked a question in 10 years. Yeah, again, as Kate just said, it's been a decade since Clarence Thomas asked a question from the bench. So what did he ask? Why did he ask a question now? The timing, I think, may be rather poignant. CNN Justice Correspondent Pamela Brown joins us now with more. Well, the timing certainly is poignant because this is just the second week of arguments since his friend, Justice Antonin Scalia, died. And today, Justice Thomas finally spoke up and asked a question during our arguments. Uh, last week, in fact, marked the 10-year anniversary of him not speaking dur during oral arguments. So needless to say, it was a huge surprise to the reporters in the room there today. It happened near the end of this under-the-radar criminal case about whether domestic abusers should lose gun rights. And Thomas all of a sudden spoke up and had some back and forth with the assistant solicitor general. According to the Huffington Post, uh, Justice Thomas, uh, who st was standing up for Second Amendment rights, asked the government's attorney, can you give me an area of law where a misdemeanor violation suspends a constitutional right? And then from there, he continued to engage in tough questioning, hmm. according to reporters who were in the courtroom. And this, of course, is interesting because while Thomas and Scalia, who sat next to each other on the bench, shared some conservative, the same conservative views in many ways, uh, they had radically different different styles during oral arguments. And so some court watchers believe that it's possible that uh, with Justice Scalia's voice now absent, Justin Th Justice Thomas felt the need to sort of step in and fill that void. You wonder if this is a sign of things to come, if maybe the, right. the decade of silence is over and we'll see more of this.